hello again. This is the tour of my final Sumeru Island. The layout I based it on is called Setek Oasis. I was really disappointed to see that the Sumeru Realm didn't actually have any desert, it was all forest. Which seems really weird, because it's pretty much the only region we have that has two completely separate biomes. And I was hoping that there would at least be an island, even one, that had a desert theme. But no such luck. Luckily, the ever-talented Hanzo made this layout, which makes use of sinking a bunch of landforms to basically create a fake desert. This layout also makes use of one of my favorite things, which is using the hot spring item to make natural looking water. I also love anything that puts plants in the water. And using this cart, I think it was, sunken into the ground to build a bridge is absolutely genius. I also love that when you use these landforms, it puts sand on top so you get the little sand footprints. They're so cute. It's another little oasis part over here with interesting plants. I decided to film this at night because, well, I don't know, I like the atmosphere best at night. I also like that building up these these stones creates an effect almost like you're in a canyon. It's managed to successfully block out most of the forest surroundings, so it's very immersive for the desert feel. I also love this little round cactus, I'm not sure why, it's just cute. So if you go over here, there's a little floating pathway. Now here's something that I actually changed from the original design. I'm pretty sure that when this design was made, this furniture item didn't exist. So, it was one of the Deepwood Dweller tents originally, so it's it was green and it looked very foresty. So, I'm pretty sure I probably used one in one of my more Tenari themed layouts. And I thought it looked a little bit out of place in the desert. So, once this tent became available, I thought I'm definitely going to swap the green tent for this tent and it fits the aesthetic of the whole layout a little better i think but like i said i'm pretty sure that when this layout was created this tent didn't exist so i still think the designer is brilliant there's a little spot here where you can sit by the fire unfortunately it's only one seat And I also did this little thing that I enjoy, making a an inside part in an outside layout. I can't remember if the lantern was in the original design, but I thought it was too dark in here without a light. I'm so glad that they finally gave us stairs. <laughs> As much as I love the way the stairs look when you make them out of those floating rocks, or as I've done in some other layouts that you'll see in the future, using the stone benches and all those primitive stair methods, this was so much easier. <laughs> I mean, now there's also an easy method to do it with those blocks of... I guess they're supposed to be paving. They're the, the thick paving blocks that I can't remember what they're called, but there's an easy way to build stairs out of those, and I've used that in some future layouts as well that I'll be showing. I also like using these stones as pathways. I think I've done this in several layouts. Of course, not my idea, again. Since I mostly just borrow from other designers. I don't know if you can see this building 
as well as it deserves. I also love this part because this is a bunch of buildings stuck together in order to make this one. And I think I'm gonna climb up it just so you can see the top. It's made by sticking a bunch of the towers together. Yes, and putting a light inside. I love this configuration, so... I just think that's so neat. Here's another one. I also like this. Just a nice little touch. I love using these lights to put lanterns on anything. And over here I made a nice little place where you could just sit by the fire and have tea. There's just a wall that borders it. Just to keep everything contained. That's pretty much it for this layout. Yep. I just want to go outside so you can see how it's just been built in the middle of this forest here. I put the teleport point over here so you just teleport right in and you're immediately immersed in the desert, but... It just looks like this from outside. Just a lot of tall walls. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this layout. I would like to say thank you to Hanzo who designed it. I'm pretty sure I used his designs for all of my outdoor Sumeru layouts. I have actually used things from other designers in other Teapot realms. I have a new poll up on my Twitter asking which realm you would like to see next, because after this I only have the interior of my Sumeru Mount mansion to do. So thanks for watching my video, I love making them and I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you next time for the interior of my Sumeru Mount mansion.